show you now a picture, another picture from a spacewalk. This is from my second mission, uh, the last spacewalk of my career. We're inside the telescope. You can see, if you look closely, you see two boots sticking out of the telescope. Those are my feet sticking out of the telescope. And what I'm trying to do there on this spacewalk was repair an instrument uh, that had a failed power supply on the Hubble Space Telescope. We had never attempted anything like this before. Typically what we did, if we had a bad instrument or a bad component, we would take the entire piece of equipment out and put in a brand new one. But we didn't have a brand new one to replace this in science instrument. And so we need, what we were planning to do was take it apart, remove the power supply, and just replace the power supply and then cover it back up. And this most complicated spacewalk we've ever attempted uh, in, the, in the space shuttle program, and I was outside to, to lead this. And um, as I was uh, doing this, uh, doing the repair, the easiest thing I was going to do that day at the beginning was to remove a handrail that was blocking access to some screws that I needed to remove to get to the power supply. So this was an easy thing to do, one line in the checklist, two screws at the top of the handrail, two at the bottom, and wouldn't you know it, that's the exact thing that I mess up. I strip a screw on the bottom of the handrail and it's not going to come out. And I just felt terrible that I made this mistake. I felt very, very alone. Let me show you what I, what I look like soon after this happened. I just felt miserable. I felt so alone. I had messed up. And I remember looking back at the earth and thinking to myself, all the people that can help me are not around. There's not even a hardware store. The closest hardware store is really far away. The control center, all the engineers, all of them are far away, and I felt so alone. I felt so isolated, so alone. How am I going to fix this problem? How are we going to how are we going to make this better? But I knew I had to stay engaged. When I try to remember that situation, as I learned in my training, that everyone makes mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. Thirty seconds of regret was the rule. Give yourself thirty seconds to feel bad about it, and then leave it in the past and move on. And that's what I tried to do. Okay, I'm an idiot. This is a terrible mistake. Let me give myself 30 seconds to be mean to myself, and then I'm going to move on. And that's what I tried to do as best I could. And sure enough, the ground came through for me. Let me show you what they did. I'm going to show you a little video here. That yellow handrail is what needs to come out in order for me to get inside the instrument. It's blocking access to the power supply. You can see some red lights on my power tool. I'm not getting a good torque. That's not good. There's my friend uh, Drew Foisler reading me through the checklist. And here's the high-tech solution that my friends at NASA came up with. They told me just to rip off the handrail. That was the instructions I got. Rip off the handrail. And, uh, and it worked fine. And uh, after, after, I, after I did that, uh, the rest of the spacewalk went pretty well. But the people who were responsible for that were nowhere near me. They were the, the control team. And you see my, my flight director, uh, Tony Sakachi, Capcom, one of my best friends, a, form, a, a fellow astronaut, Dan, Bur Dan Burbank is the guy uh, on the left. And I remember just hearing Dan's voice in my head made me feel better. And uh, it made me feel like I really wasn't alone. And sure enough, they came up with the right solution. And then uh, after all of that, I was a happy astronaut. That's me as a happy astronaut at the end. So what I, what I learned from that was that although I was far away from the planet, I was in my own little spacesuit. I had created this big problem that my team did not abandon me. Uh, it was a coordinated effort to come up with a solution between the Goddard Space Flight Center in, in Maryland and, and, and the Johnson Space Center in Texas, and they went back and forth, and they never abandoned me. And I try to remember that now, times when I feel alone, how am I going to fix these problems, how am I going to figure this out, that we're not really alone. Our team is still in place. We still have people we can reach out to. And what I try to remember is, just like when I was in space, times like this where we're separated from our teams, trying to communicate and work over distance, when you need help, reach out to Mission Control. Reach out to someone. Try to get that help. And maybe even more importantly, try to be Mission Control for somebody else. If someone else needs help, be there for them. Reach out to Mission Control and be Mission Control for the others on your team.